The so-called European project consisted in unifying European citizens and European countries around the pursuit of some common goals that would improve their living conditions as well as the conditions of existence in their countries and also uh, the conditions under which the um, different uh, populations would uh, project some key values uh, to the world at large. Uh, values such as liberty, solidarity, uh, social justice, <coughs> um, innovation, um, uh, creativity. Unified Europe was a, is a project, not a departing point. Why? Because what is common to Europe? For thousands of years, we have been killing each other. That's the main uh, joint activity of Europeans, and particularly in the 20th century. That's why after World War II, there was this attempt to start creating the economic, European Economic Community, then the European Union, etc., etc. But all this sharing can only be active and effective on the condition that there is some shared identity. Because identity is not simply uh, religious identity or identity of some kind. Uh, it's a material force. If we don't have shared identity, why I should care about the Greek or the Greek about the Germans or the Italians about the Spaniards? Uh, we, we think that there is national identity. In fact, it's less and less so. But in any case, there has uh, there are historical roots of national identity and much more local and regional identity. So the notion of a common Europe simply is a fiction, which it was working without too much of a problem as long as there were not issues that would divide the Europeans on a number of matters. As soon as there was a major economic crisis, we saw the response of Europe to the economic crisis. No solidarity there. The solidarity was on the condition of Greece or Porto or other countries to be submitted to the rules of the dominant powers in Europe. So that's not solidarity. That's economic domination using the fact that precisely the European economy was not a unified economy. We had a unified currency, but not common fiscal policy, not common banking policy, and not unified economy other than the market. Every major crisis that Europe faces shows the division of the European member states. The most important one recently, the refugee crisis, which is a gigantic human uh, tragedy in which Europe, they were true that the values of Europe, solidarity, compassion should be enhanced, as uh, uh, Pope Fran Francisco said, uh, then European countries had to be coming together and cooperating with each other in absorbing uh, these refugees and actually providing decent asylum. As actually Merkel, who in other elements has been very non-European because of the priority to austerity policies, in this aspect has been very courageous and has been the only, uh, the only European leader. But then, concretely speaking, the, uh, the refugee crisis ended up being the test of what Europeans uh, feel and what Europe is. Therefore, without a strong shared identity, the European dream is simply an ideology rather than a practice. Identities are constructed by shared practices. You have to practice something together to become together. If we would have an integrated education system, with exchange of students, etc., then the young Europeans would become gradually European. That's the success of the Erasmus program. But if our different education systems could be much more uh, interconnected, if universities would recognize the degrees and the credits and the diplomas of the others, and we could start having all of uh, universities having mandatory courses of the main languages, media, fundamental. Uh, some common regulations in terms of banking systems so that we control the fiscal haven. So some common interests that are really the interests of, of all 
and not of a certain elite. Then sharing that down the line, European citizens would feel European. Down the line, we will need maybe one or two generations, but you don't become European by saying you're European. That's a continental expression. The way to construct it is through shared practices in education, media, um, communication systems, and solidarity campaigns. And instead of being united in uh, supporting the refugees who are coming, and thousands of families are ready to do that, governments block. So I think the European Union is a, until now, is a construction of national interests, um, disguised with the ideology of the solidarity of the people.